Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. We're going to watch some JoJo's today. Um, I lost my voice. I feel like I get over a cold and then something else happens and I'm just like, ugh. But anyways, um, yeah. We're going to watch some JoJo's. We left off. The guys are all in Singapore. Um, the little girl is still with them. And yeah, they're going into some hotel. I'm thinking it's the, the man with two same right hands I believe because the old lady um, had said something about her son was up next so we'll see how this goes if so this is where Paul Nareff will get his revenge hopefully against him for murdering his sister I think he murdered and raped her which is just, just terrible and wrong so um, hopefully this will probably be his moment to kick ass and destroy him and I wonder how this is going to make his mom feel if that's the case so yeah and hopefully they get closer to their goal to get to Dio since mama um what's her name Jotaro's mother is definitely in need of some help since her um, stand is kind of making her ill so yeah I'm not gonna keep talking I'm just gonna go ahead and jump on into some more Jojo so let's go Oh, that's right. They are strict on littering. I used to live in Japan, guys, and that was one of the rules. If we try to go overseas to anywhere else, we had to know the rules. <laughs> that's the first time she's laughed. Why isn't she going after her father? Well, why would she want to be around them? <laughs> exactly. I hate what it is. We ain't got no damn choice. Where are we going to stay at? He shared a room with her. Where it's safe. I think wherever I go, I'll be on guard. I wouldn't be able to relax, damn it. Oh, he's checking out everything. You know, he's smart. <laughs> oh, he got the room with this crazy looking doll. Oh, he can feel the presence. The evil. The cursed. Yo, I feel like he, he messing with him. But he poked his ass in the face with them swords. Oh no, so it's not the guy with two right hands. Okay, I got a question. Is that a doll in there? Is that a voodoo doll? And his blood touched it. So now he got possession of the doll. So the doll's gonna do some shit. Right behind you! Right behind you! Right behind you, Pottery! Yo, fucking took a check out his goddamn bagel. Y'all see that? I saw that. You saw that. The doll. What did I damn say? Doll is voodoo. Hell yeah! Dude, no! What you mean? Yo, there's so many types of stuff that I just don't understand. Who, see, who, who sees a goddamn gone doll and don't want to throw it in the trash? Yeah. 
you gonna put it back my ass. I be like, when it comes, take this damn dog with you. He should have warned these folks about all these different people that he met before. Dang. I wouldn't even want it. Yes, you can. Ask for another one at the clerk's desk. I have a bad feeling about him going in this damn, damn bed. What? 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 And what? Shampoo. Oh, that has to be the worst. Oof. Ooh, this close from his face. This close from his face. Okay, so where Paul and the ref can't see, the stand can't see. Okay, got you. Yo, all of this is happening in his goddamn room. Oh. Nigga, check on him. Duh. Mark about dang time. He about to blow the damn bed up. He got the alcohol on the ground. That room about to blow the hell up, y'all. Hurry up! It don't take but two seconds for you to say, Stan, come here. Get the bed off me. He released the, 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 the doll? Get your ass up! What the fudge, bro? You hear what he just said? He's stuck? Yeah. I knew. I what I say? Got him in the face. Good. That's right. Beat that doll's ass. Get him. That's right. That's right. Tell little Native American Chucky ass up. But that's the point. He was smart enough to do what he did. <laughs> you not gonna do that now. The little dick. <laughs> what? <laughs> that 
that's what he looks like the last moments. Oh my freaking gosh. He defeated him by himself. Are you looking at what I'm seeing? Really? Now the right to remain silent. Why wouldn't anybody go, let's check up on him. It's taking him a while. I seriously thought he needed a, um, excuse me, a camera. Oh, that's neat. There's a traitor among us. Beware of him. He's still on the bad side? Oh, shoot. And he made the, the guy dang on TV blow up. With Joe. And they got, and they do, dude's eyes dark. Plotting. Look at his face. You know, a coconut? Why is his eyes so dark? I want to believe he's not a bad dude. Who is dude? Oh. <laughs> That's not like him. My precious wallet. Okay, something is going on. What the F? He is killing dude! Exactly. Is he sick? Did something happen to him? And he took her damn juice. That's not the real Kako, whatever his name is, Kakoin. That ain't the real him. Yo, dude is hurting, yo. I'm surprised his ass able to get up. Oh, he inching off. He doesn't even talk like he used to. No, he don't like no damn coconut juice. He eating the damn insects, little nasty. You gross. Run for your life, child. Go to Jotaro. And he's beating shit up. No, girl, you saw right. Creep. Something's happened. Something's like a bug or something, or something's attached to him again, huh? Probably not the little thing that goes in his head, but something. Oh, I'm Well, you just ate them down. You got Look how she look now she's attached to Jotaro. No, he wasn't. Something's wrong with him. You nasty. You know what? You dirty. You are just canceled. Get the fuck on. Oh, I got your ticket right here. I said that. He's possessed. 
Woo! Zeke. Yo, his face separated. What the fudge? Where's Kakyoin then? Yeah, girl. He. No, you need to stay away. You need... Why would you want to chase after that? Yo, this stand stuff is a whole nother level. But why would he eat bugs? What happened to Kakyoin then? Oh, damn. Oh, it's like stomach acid. Yo, Grandpa Joe, fine is I don't know what. Girl, you was, you know what? She is on it. She was watching. She had the info. We need more like her in anime. Duh, Papa Joe. What in the entire world? And he missed it. Okay. Is eating. How would he get that up? Would he have to cut his own finger off? It's no weakness. Fucking bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> he said there's no weakness. Would it do actually anything to it? It spread. What are you gonna do? Take the boy ice cream? Shut the fuck up and enjoy the view. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yes. My pokey. His head gonna pop off. You keep pulling at it. Oh, what I tell you? What I tell you? Now you're the dead dog. The dog's already dead. Don't let it get on you. Fucking rude. What the fudge? Do you understand? Now it's all over your fucking body, Joe. Is he being funny? Yo, he is his grand Oh, he is his granddaddy's clone. He can't breathe. So it's kind of like putting a bear on him. Yeah, go ahead, Joe Toto. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. But what about the stuff that's still on him? Isn't it still eating at him? Why? I remember now. <laughs> Yo, pride my ass. Yo, he was a punk this whole time. Jake, Jake Isle. 
freaky. A mirror. What does that got to do with him? <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit. What the hell? Your stroke of luck is about to run out. Oh shit, he hit him in the face with the freaking lid! You stupid. <laughs> I was just kidding. You did that to yourself, sir. You did that to yourself, stupid. Powerful stand, but he is a shitty fighter. I want to smack shit out of him. Oh, she's still tagging along. I knew she's gonna get a crush on him eventually. I knew eventually she how she's been clinging to him. I kind of figured she was gonna catch feelings for him. And I'd be weird. I think he had a little crush on her too, because she's the only girl that he's been kind of sort of nice to. But anyways, this was um, a good couple of episodes. The whole cherry thing really was like, what the absolute F is going on? And the fact that the imposter and the real Kakyoin has the same tendency is so, is so bizarre. But yeah, um, <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> like, what the fudge? But anyways, um, we saw that two people underneath the, um, Dio's control came to come fight the guys. I feel bad for Paul Nareff because he was fighting by himself and it's like, the folks didn't even think, oh, maybe we should go check up on him. Oh, he's going to meet us here. We should just wait on him. Like, if somebody's telling you they got hurt in a room, don't you go to the room. Like, <laughs> come on now. Why would you wait for them to come to your room if you know they had a problem in their room? Like, what? I'll be the first one. Oh, I'll be there right in a second. I'm coming. Nope, they didn't do that. They waited for them. A freaking doll was slicing up. Y'all, the doll sliced up the freaking uh, clerk man. Now, that, f that episode was freaking weird. Out of the, the two that we just saw, that one... The first one we saw was straight up cray cray. That was crazy. Like I was, that was just, doop, that was just not in. I was like, what the fudge? This one was this episode. The last episode that we watched was pretty like wild, but at least the first the doll came with a little bit more like uh, creativity. Well, this dude ended up being like a little wussy at the end because he wanted to keep his appearance. Seemed like to me, but whatever. Dio is still on guard. We saw that um, Grandpa Joe can use his stand with TVs as well. I was under the assumption that it was only with the cameras. So, But it's good that he can use TVs, even though it seems as if when he's using it, Dio, of course, is alerted that um, Grandpa Joe is using it. So he, it kind of backfired when it, the TV had blew up. But other than that, I think that's a really dope um, ability that Grandpa Joe has. And the fact that Jotaro has his strong stand, I think those two are really going to be important later on when it comes down to fight um, Dio. Now, what I really, really hope does not happen, like at the end of this, because eventually they're going to come head to head with Dio. I don't want Grandpa Joe to die. 
And I don't feel like somebody's going to die on um, the boy's side, on the good, like the Joe side. And I really don't want Grandpa Joe to die. He's been through so much already. He, he went against the freaking Pillarman. The Pillarman. And for him to go out with Dio will piss me off. Let him live triumphantly. And let him die in peace, sort of. So that's my hope. But we don't know. I hope um, Jotaro's mom is, like, okay. Okay-ish. I hope it's, like, the stain that's kind of, like, consuming her isn't making her, like, lose weight or kind of, like, old and fragile. Hopefully it's just, like, it's keeping her in that state until it just kills her off. Not saying I want her to die, but I'm just saying I hope, like, she's still in the same condition that she was before they left. I forget how many days it's been since they had, um left Japan to Egypt, well, on their way to go to Egypt, but we'll see they're on this train, so more than likely they're going to come against some other stand users. I think there's like five other um, people that are probably going to be coming after him from what the, the stomach acid slime dude had told Joe, so I don't know how this going to unfold. And the thing is, a whole bunch of people on the train, I don't see the difference between a them taking a flight to Egypt and a train. They both have lots of people riding on them, so I don't understand. So we'll see. I'm just gonna, I'm just curious to keep on watching to see how this unfolds, but for right now, we already know Trouble is following the guy, so we'll see how the train um, is going to play a part with the stand user and the guys. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this reaction with me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank <music> you.